Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Wilkin. I'm the district librarian for Hearn, for all of those who, of you who don't know me. But boy, have I missed not seeing your faces every day. I'm sure you're anxious to get back into the building just as we were a couple of weeks ago. We're gonna do library lessons virtually for a while, so I thought we'd go ahead and start for those people who've never been to the library. I thought we'd go ahead and start with a tour of the library and some things that are here. So let me go ahead and switch my screen so that you can see some of the interesting things that we have in the library. A lot of you enjoy reading graphic novels. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Lunch Lady, Baby Mouse. But these are two of the new additions that we have. Just two of many. The new Dog Man, Fetch 22, and the new graphic novel of the I Survive series that's about the Titanic. I think you'll enjoy those too. Every time I see these squares at the checkout, I think of you guys, how much you love to step on, the, step on them and watch the colors change. So I'll go ahead and step on one, and you can see the colors changing. I cannot wait till we're face to face so that you can check out here and walk on those colored tiles. For those of you who are new to Hearn, we have a keypad for third through sixth grade where you check out your books with your student number. The student number is the one that you usually enter for your lunch code. And those of you who are new, you'll get a number and then you'll be able to check books out once we meet face to face. These are just a couple of the comfortable chairs that you can sit in to read once you've checked out your books. This is our special reading area. We have these goofy little guys up here who are reading books. And I think you'll enjoy coming and reading in the library. This is another thing that I post every year out in front of the library on the window. It shows you that even Mrs. Wilkin, as old as she is, has reading goals. And my goals are to read at least 150 books this school year. We've only been back in school for two weeks and I've already read 10 books. I think that is amazing and I'm sure you do too. So try to set a reading goal for yourself as to how many books you'd like to read. I wanted to remind you how important it is for you to read at least 20 minutes a day. Look at this chart. It says that if you read for 20 minutes every day for a year, you will be exposed to 1.8 million words. Now that reading for 20 minutes doesn't have to be in a novel. It could be a magazine article. It could be an ebook. Don't forget we have those ebooks online for you to get. If you go to mycapstonelibrary.com, and for those of you who are new, our login is Hearn, and our password is Reads, R-E-A-D-S. Remember that S on the end. So it doesn't matter what you read, just read for 20 minutes every day, and it will definitely improve your vocabulary. You know, third through sixth grade, read the Blue Bonnet books. And there's a special place in our library that houses the Blue Bonnet books that are available for the year. Blue Bonnet books are 20 books that have been recommended by the Texas librarians as being excellent reads for grades three through six. This is just a couple of the books that we have. We don't have all 20 yet, but we're getting them. You can see, no more poems. Oh, that looks like a really funny one because Dan Satat went ahead and read, wrote that one. That one's a really good one. If I build a school from the an idea to Disney, the wolf called wander, 
Bernice Butman, Model Citizen. Rocket to the Moon. Sweep, the story of a girl and a monster. Hmm. The Bridge Home. And Charlie Hernandez, League of Shadows. That's going to be a series. We also have Night Books. That's a really good one, too. And starting tomorrow, you can see my little bookmarks that are in it right now, my little sticky notes. I'm going to be reading this blue bonnet to you. It's called Stay. And I think you'll really enjoy that one. But these are the blue bonnets. And if you read five of the 20, then you'll get to come to the blue bonnet bash. We're hoping that we get together face to face so that we can have a real good blue bonnet bash this year. Last thing I wanted to remind you about is we do have two book fairs every year. Usually we have that book fair in August or September for our fall book fair. But because of everything that's going on and that we're virtual, our book fair right now is scheduled for November. So hopefully we'll be able to have our fall book fair in November. And that should be kind of fun. We'll get to see all the new books out by Scholastic. And of course, all those trinkets and those spy pens that you guys like to buy. Thank you so much for watching this this morning. Look forward to tomorrow when we start our book, our Blue Bonnet book together called Stay, and it's by Bobby Pyron. I cannot wait to hear what your comments are about the book and also what your favorite books are. Maybe you can comment to your teacher and let her know what's your favorite series. What kind of books would you like to see more of in the library? Because I know she'll share that with me. I cannot wait to see you guys face to face. I'm sending you a virtual hug. Again, this is Mrs. Wilkin, your librarian.